does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Oh, hey there, YouTube. Back again today for another game review. Today, I'm very excited to be checking out Super Circles from Out of the Box Games. This is for two to four players. Ages uh, says eight and up, and it will take you about five to ten minutes to play. But before we get to Super Circles, I want to give a shout out to one of my awesome Kickstarter backers who sent us to Gen Con this year. I want to give a shout out to Harry Gao, the creator of Warring Kingdoms, a game I did a video for, a Kickstarter video for. It is a die, or a deck building dice chucker that, and it sounds like it might be interesting to you, be sure to check out the link below. Thank you very much, Harry. But, back to Super Circles. It's from Out of the Box Games. It takes you about five to ten minutes to play. It comes in this nice, sturdy little tin. But is it fun? I don't know. Let's open it up, see how it plays. Alright, so we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Super Circles. First and foremost, inside of our nice little tin, we're going to be getting our handy dandy rule sheet, which is incredibly tiny. It's about the size of my hand. It's uh, double-sided. Uh, there's full color. Very nicely done. It will have you up and running in no time at all. Oh, and as always, like to mention, we're playing on our nice little grip mat, which turns every game into a space game. So inside of Super Circles, what you're going to get are cards, cars, and more cards. I think it's like a 72-card deck, something like that. And essentially, what you're going to be doing in this game is you, on the cards, are going to have circles. And around those circles are going to be various different colored numbers. So we got purple and yellow and green and blue. We're going to have different numbers on them. And as you can see, there's going to be different circles and different, or there's going to be different colors on each of the things. Now, what you're going to do in this game, depending on how many players you have, is you're going to divide up your deck of cards amongst the two to four players. Uh, so for this one, we're just going to do that, and we're going to say we have a two-player game, and then you're going to set one card out in the middle. Actually, I think it's a 73-card deck, now that I think about it. And that card is going to be the starting card. Now, what you're going to be able to do, and this is a free-for-all kind of game, there's no turns, just everybody's trying to go as fast as they want, is you're going to be able to do one of two things uh, at any time of the game. You can either draw one card from your pile in your hand, and you can just do this, oh, one, do this as fast as you want, uh, you just can't draw more than one at a time, or you can play cards on top of the card in the middle. So, for instance, we could play this card right here, because that green four... Uh, the four green is matches the four green, so we would just say four, and we'd place it right down there. And then we'd say, oh, can we play anything else? No, we can't, because we're going to, oh, no, we can play the two, because the two matches the yellow. We play that as fast as we can, we keep drawing up and keep drawing up. But on the other side, our opponents could be doing the same thing, drawing one card at a time, and they're, they might even be able to stack things up, and they might go, uh, you know, well, that's a terrible example, they might go three! Four. And as you can see, you're going to be trying to go faster and faster and faster until you can get rid of all of your cards. Whoever gets rid of all their cards is going to be the winner of Super Circles. Now, uh, in case you have any disputes, the only real dispute that you can come up with is uh, what if you play at the same time or you say things at the same time. In that case, whoever gets their card down on the table first is going to be able the person to play their cards. But that, in a nutshell, is how Super Circles is played. Alright then, Super Circles from Out of the Box Games, one of my final thoughts, let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First on the con side, the game's not going to be for everybody for a couple different reasons, it's two to four players, so if you got a large gaming group, might not be for you. Also, I would put this in the category of filler games slash... Uh, slash children's games, so if you're not in the market for a game such as that, you might want to steer clear of this. Also, this one is the same thing over and over and over and over and over again, and there's not really any strategy in the game. I mean, the only two viable strategies you have are do you play cards as fast as you humanly can, do you draw up a bunch of cards and then try and plan out your strategy by lining up colors and then going three, three, two, three, 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 uh, one at a time, because you can only lay down cards one at a time, which I forgot to mention in the, the rules part. Uh, but that's the only strategy you're going to have in the game game. Um, light, it's a light game. It's not going to be for everybody. And if you've watched the gameplay, you can pretty much tell this is going to be for you. Last con, it does come in a tin. Some people hate tins. I don't know why. I love tins, but some people hate them. Moving on to the pros, Super Circles. I mean, it's as simple as this. It's another game from Out of the Box Games that is light, it's fun, it's cheap, and it's quick. I mean, and I like that. It's very easy to teach. It goes over well with a lot of gaming groups. I played this in my classroom. It went over really well. As long as a child knows their numbers and the colors, they can play it. It's easily handicappable. So if, even if I'm playing with two kids who, you know, are pretty young and pretty new to colors and numbers and stuff like that, I can give myself a whole boatload of cards and only give them, like, ten cards and still just be doing this. And they still have a fighting chance, which I like that. Uh, I also played it with a team variant, which was a lot of fun. It is kind of fun with teams where you both have to finish up. Um, 
it's fun. It's just a fun game. That's that's all you get. I mean, out-of-the-box games, and this is what I'm expecting from their little tiny tins. I think these are like 10 bucks. is that it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be light on substance, but it is still going to be fun. And that's what I enjoyed about this game. This is one that I'm that's going to stick around and probably be playing with my son when he gets a little bit older. Don't have to worry about the game getting busted or broken because it does come in this nice tin. And it's going to be one that I will be taking into my classroom for three to five-year-olds and play with them. Overall, Super Circles, out of the box games, if you're in the market for a game like this, a light filler game or a children's game, a nice little stocking stuff or anything like that, definitely check it out. It is worth your time. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to click on the subscribe button down below. Also, in the comments below, let me know what is your favorite kind of die. D6, D3, D10, D12, D8, D20. Which one do you like to roll? I personally like the D3. I like the little triangle thing. I like it a lot. Uh, also, if you enjoyed this content... Oh, wait, no. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That's what I meant to say. That was a review for Super Circles. For more reviews and previews, check back at Bowers Game Corner.